Hey guys, welcome back to EE Tech Reviews. We got a very quick review here going over the Camlink 4K by Elgato. And again, this, this is going to help you take your DSLR camera or anything with an HD output and capture it and use it even as a webcam, which is what I'm doing right now. And this product's been out for a while. It's about a hundred bucks. It was sold out during the pandemic for a couple months and now it's back available. And this is for anyone that doesn't know or is working from home a lot or is just interested in upgrading their quality of their cameras for their work from home, their Zoom, whatever whatever meetings they're doing. And just to see that though it's about a hundred bucks, it's gonna give you the best quality, the best 1080p, 60 FPS, or 4K 30 FPS. Uh, and it's gonna be better than any of those cheaper ones you see on Amazon. They might not be true 1080, where they might be 720, but listed as 1080, as I've seen from other YouTube videos. So I'm just going to show you what this is capable of, uh, what its quick features are, and then what some camera quality differences look like between a DSLR with Cam Link versus a Logitech webcam. And that's it, guys. And thanks again for the subscribers. We just hit 300. I really appreciate it. I've been working on a lot of projects, and I'll make sure to keep going with some more videos in the next couple of weeks. So here we have the package itself. It's about 100 to $130. Comes with the USB and a little adapter if you wanna plug it in directly. Important, use USB 3.0. You need that high data rate transfer. So you can see I am using the master mount almost in this exact same setup. Again, it uses all the different major cameras. It's gonna be useful for all your different software. I've used it on all of these apps here. Important again, 1080p, 60fps, 4K30, plug and play. And look up your camera. Take the time to ensure that your DSLR is capable, that there's any specific settings that you need to change, just some generic things you know you'll need. Confirm its resolution output on the HDMI port. Can you get clean HDMI? Meaning is there something that's gonna show on the screen? Do you need to turn off some displays on the screen so it's not captured? Unlimited runtime is important. And usually you'll need a dummy battery if you want that plugged in permanently. Confirm the type of cable that you need. And that's it. They make it really easy to confirm. But since this product's been out, confirm that your DSLR camera works with this product. And that's it. It's very, very easy. Now, as you look here, it's USB plugged into the cam link. And then the HDMI to mini HDMI is plugged into my Sony A6000. You can see I'm using the Elgato's Cam Link Master Mount as well, and all is good. All right, guys, this is the quick interactive part. Which do you think is the Cam Link versus the Logitech webcam? I got two shown here. Which one do you think is which? And boom, answer down below. Now, this is with no lights. It is dark in this room. So just like any camera, you need proper lighting. And again, Everybody sells LED lighting, Elgato. Uh, you can go on Amazon, buy cheap LED lights. I got cheap LED lights, two of them, right? I got one here and one here. Let me turn them on. Boom. And you can see, I personally think a huge difference. One thing first, I'm looking at the cam link. It's clear. There's no saturation. You look at the Logitech webcam on the left, you can't even see my face. I'm even whiter than I already look. Another interesting thing is if I move left and right, you see the, the true FPS coming through, right? 60 FPS on the DSLR with Cam Link versus 30 FPS using the Logitech C922 webcam if you're interested. And again, these products aren't perfect. Debugging, if there's any issues, definitely look them up based on your camera. Um, I've used the cam link on my MacBook M1. I've used it here on my gaming laptop or gaming desktop here that I built. If it doesn't work with OBS like it is right now, just turn off the camera, unplug it, plug everything back in, turn on the camera and confirm. And again, if you need the settings that you need to set your camera to, there's an installation video right underneath the compatibility of your camera on the Elgato website. So that's it for this video, guys. It's definitely quick. It's just to show you this product's out there, and it's definitely useful just to show you. Um, hopefully, the quality of my videos will really improve as I get better using a real DSLR camera and not just using my iPhone 11 to do everything.